Hi there, my name is Tola Costi and I'll be recording a series of tunes for the Online Academy of Irish Music. Firstly, I'll be teaching a jig, a very common jig here in Ireland called uh, the Geese in the Bog. And the techniques that I'll be working with are very simple cuts or grace notes, as some people call them. So, without any further ado, here's the geese in the bog. So we're going to break that tune up a little bit now and we're going to play the first two phrases of that tune and they sound like this. Now let's play that together. So after three, one, two, three. Now here's the second phrase. So let's play that together, please. One, two, three, four. And now let's go back to the first number of phrases again. Play together. One, two, three, four. And now here's the last phrase, the, the answer we call it. And that goes one, two, three, four. So let's play all of the A part together after four. One, two, three, four. Again. 
Okay, so that was the A part or the beginning part of the geese in the bog. Next, we're going to go to the B part or the second part. And the first number of phrases sound like this. So that was the first beginning phrase of the second part. Here, let's play those together. After four. Two. Here's the next number of phrases. So let's play those together. Two, three, four. And here's the next number of phrases. Play those together. Three, four. And here's the answer, the very last number of phrases in the B part. So let's play the last number of phrases in the B part together. Two, three, four. Okay, let's play all the B part together. One, two, three, four. Okay, so that was the bare bones of the geese in the bog. Now, like I said at the start, we're going to now talk about, first of all, the phrasing of a jig. Because jigs have a lovely 3-3 three, three beat. But they, well, I all, here's how I always like to describe jigs. If you can say the phrase, rashers and sausages. Now, the reason rashers and sausages sound so good is because the important bit is on the rash and the sauce. So it's rashers and sausages. So there's a heaviness at the very beginning of those phrases. Now, to incorporate those little cuts, what a cut is, I feel, is a note before the important note. So, if your first note is C natural, then the note the cut happens on is a little D before that. So if you take the very beginning of the tune, C, E, E, G, E, E, it becomes D, C, E, E, A, G, E, E. And that sounds like this. So. a little GE at the end so I'll repeat that again one time now that was slightly over exaggerated you would normally not put that amount of cuts in but it's good to practice so let's practice the cuts and we'll take it nice and slow after four. One, two, three, four.
Now, the second part has the same cuts. It's DC and then it goes up to high G and there's an, an AG just before it. So it sounds like this. happen there on the, the D, on the C and on the G is because that's where the rash and the sauce of rashers and sausages occurs. So that's why it's nice to embellish there. If later on when you become, if you want to, you can also roll there, but we'll talk about that in other lessons. 